get it started. Okay, let's begin. So actually, uh, before uh, proceeding to uh, new topics, I probably discuss about the swing limits, the maximum and minimum voltages, because I believe there are some confusions. I should have uh, explained it better. Uh, anyways, let's do that. So I'll first take the same uh, thing I asked you in the exam or the quiz. So first of all, do you guys recognize the circuit? Is it something new or? Uh, Ah, it is same as the 5 transistor OTA, it's just that I have used a PMOS instead of an NMOS, right? So here the differential pair is a PMOS and the current mirror is an NMOS. And remember as I mentioned with respect to small signal behavior, there is virtually no difference between using an NMOS or a PMOS. So all the small signal calculations that we did for the NMOS 5 transistor OTA will hold exactly good for this also. So only thing that will change will be the uh, uh, operating point, not operating point, large signal behaviors and stuff. So let's look at that. And uh, okay, first of all, let us say here, this is biased at a current I naught, right? Uh, what can you say about the currents in these two branches? I naught by two and I naught by two. Again, uh, although it's asymmetrical, you can go ahead and prove that this will be equal I naught by 2. Similarly, what can you say about these two drain voltages? They also be equal, fine. And what will uh, this voltage be equal to? What is setting that voltage? This is the gate to source voltage of the NMOS. So what is that voltage? VGS of? Uh, at VGS of 3 at a current of I naught by 2. So which means this is also be this will also be at the same voltage. Fine. So okay now let us say I go and change the gate voltage. Right here it's a common mode change that is uh, both the gates are tied together, and I'm increasing or decreasing the gate voltage. If I do that, what can you say about these two currents? Huh? Basically both the gates are same. Both the gates I am going to increase or decrease it together. In that case, what can you comment about the two currents here? Same, I mean, it is the same thing, right? It's You can think of it like earlier I had some VCM, now it's a different VCM. But the argument still holds good. You can again go ahead and prove by contradiction that the current have to be, the currents have to be equal. Right? So as long as the two gate voltages here are equal, the currents in these two branches will be I naught by 2. Similarly, what can you say about these two voltages? Huh? They, have to be equal. they also have to be equal. Is that fine? Again, please remember that if the uh, currents have to be equal, the gate to source voltage must be same. And in addition, what other voltage has to be same? Drain to source voltage has to be same. So which means these two drains must also be at the same potential. And since the current here is I naught by 2, this voltage is fixed to this. And this will also be following the same voltage. But in situation, uh, it, it, it do not depend on VDS. I mean, uh, ideally it does not. But in practice, you do know it depends, right? It's a weak dependence, but it still depends. Right? Okay, so if this is clear, then you can calculate the swing limits. So, okay, the point to notice, as long as the gate voltages are same here, the currents are going to split equally and the two drain voltages will be equal, okay. So, now let us say I go and uh, increase the gate voltage here, right. So, both the gates are tied and the gate voltage is increased. So, first let us figure out what all will change in the circuit, right. So, if I increase this. What can you say about the currents here? Same. I mean, we just saw, right? I mean, the both gate voltages are tied. Remember that? I mean, although I've shown it like this, it's basically both are tied like this. The gate voltage is same. So, what can you say about the two currents? There will still be I naught by 2, I naught by 2. Okay. As long as you are going to change both gate voltages together, 
currents are not going to change current is i not by 2 okay so which means what voltage must change to uh, make sure this current is i not by 2 uh ah, this guy must keep increasing to accommodate that i mean to make sure that the current is still i not by 2 huh okay so now if i increase uh, this fellow this voltage what happens yeah i mean basically if i increase this this voltage increases if this voltage increases which transistor can go out of saturation right remember uh, if i increase the drain voltage of this transistor the source to drain source to drain decreases so which means what can go out of saturation right so basically i'll just write the maximum vcm that is limited by which transistor m not this is the first thing to identify and once you recognize it, it uh, then it's uh, simpler right so let me mark some things here so what is this voltage it is a potential difference between source and gate the current is same so is it changing source to gate voltage is getting fixed and i'll denote it as vsg of m1 or m2 whichever you like fine so let me erase this so that i'll make so i'll call this source to drain of m not okay uh, so now in terms of the supply vdd and these two voltages can you tell what is vcm aha uh -huh. vcm is vdd minus vdd minus one source to drain drop is this voltage that minus one source to gate drop is this voltage so nothing complicated so if i do that here vsd 0 minus vsg 1 at a current i not by 2 now if i were to find the maximum of this guy i mean i know this is fixed this is fixed so to find the maximum what should i look do i should take minimum of vsd and what is the minimum of vsd let me actually write it also it's basically vsd minimum i'll say minus vsg1 at a current i not by 2 so what is the minimum source to drain voltage you can have for a pmos it is source to gate minus 1 which is one overdrive voltage right so this is vdd minus one overdrive of Uh, transistor m0 at a current i not minus this. okay this is clear so now similarly you can find what will happen in the other direction so now if i go and reduce the gate voltage together I already shown it here if i keep uh, decreasing this voltage which transistor can go out of saturation yeah i mean say so again first recognize what all uh, are going to change right if i reduce the gate voltage here the source voltage is going to that is going to drop so the source to drain of this guy is increasing not a problem but remember the drain voltage of uh, these two transistors are they are fixed current is i not by 2 which means these two potentials have to be same and that is set to this voltage drain voltage is fixed gate is dropping so what is the minimum the gate can drop to for a pmos what is the minimum voltage the gate can go i mean okay uh, to keep the transistor in saturation right that's the idea okay it can go the drain voltage minus 1 threshold okay okay so now uh, which means the minimum vcm is the drain voltage what is the drain voltage sorry pgs of no which transistor pgs3 at i not by 2 so basically this is the drain voltage 
minus 1 threshold of whatever m1 or m2 okay so here okay let me also write that vcm minimum is limited by which transistor what is what will go out of saturation if you reduce the gate voltage m1 m1 m2 which will say m1 or m2 is this okay I mean, please uh, uh, get it clarified now. I mean, I don't want to move to something because I mean, if the previous topics are not clear, so if you have doubts, please let me know. Okay. So okay, let me also let us also find the output common mode so that that is also covered. So again, I'll take the same PMOS here. So here, what we are interested in, how much this output can go to the maximum and to the minimum, okay? And of course, see, if you keep it like this, the output voltage is not going to change, right? If the gates are at the same, I mean, uh, VCM, VCM, and have it like this, these two are going to be same to that VGS3. But finally, remember, we'll use it in some negative feedback, right? So let's say I put something like this, something, right? So now the output voltage can change. So now we are interested to see how, what is the maximum it can go and minimum it can go. Okay. And uh, this is slightly simpler. Let's quickly do that. So if I actually uh, go and reduce the output voltage or let us say the output voltage keeps dropping, which transistor can go out of saturation? M4. For NMOS transistor, if the drain is dropping, that is a red flag. So what is the, so basically I'll say V out minimum is limited by M4. And what is the minimum it can go to? It is basically the overdrive voltage of, that is the minimum. Is that okay? This is simpler. Now, similarly, you can uh, find the maximum. So, if I, if the output voltage keeps increasing, which transistor can go out of saturation? Again, uh, logically speaking, the output is connected to M2 and M4. If the output voltage changes, it should be one of those two will have issues. So, drain voltage is increasing. So, which transistor can go out of saturation? M2. Okay. And what is the... Uh, okay. For a PMOS transistor, what is the maximum uh, the drain can go in terms of its gate voltage? It is basically the gate voltage plus one threshold. Okay. So now if you want to find the uh, maximum, I mean here you, are, you want to find the maximum output. Let me write it like this. the out max okay so if you, if you want to find the maximum of the output i should take maximum of the gate voltage that is the maximum input that you already computed so i'll uh, first write it as vcm max plus mod vth right? and we had already computed the maximum uh, at the input so let me copy that So if I put it here, so my V out max is this guy. Hmm? Oh. I mean the gate is VCM, right? No, sir. VD max is less than equal to VG plus VTH. No, VD max is equal. That's a single voltage. VD should be less than equal to VG plus VTH. Huh. So to satisfy that condition always, you should take VCM min, right? No, you are trying to find what is the maximum it can go, right? I mean, you are saying, this is true for a PMOS. Hmm. Now I'm trying to find what is the maximum this side can go. So I'll try to take maximum of this, right? Is that okay? 
Which condition? No, no, I am trying to keep this condition. See, for PMOS, it doesn't matter. Whatever the gate is, the drain can go at the max this. So, I am trying to find the absolute maximum the output can go. Which means I will consider the absolute maximum we can have at the input. Is that okay? But in all cases, this is not necessarily true. But like we will fix the common mode voltage okay. and then we will check this voltage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, yeah, yeah. But basically, if you have provision to change the gate voltage, you will do it. The point is, yeah, you, what they are pointing out is right. So, uh, to achieve this maximum at the output, even the input must be this voltage. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But we are only looking with respect to the output. Let us say you are given provision to change the input to whatever you want. The maximum output can go this. And if the output has to go to this maximum, the input gate voltage must be this maximum input. That's all. Hmm? So can you simplify this further? It's VDD minus overdrive of 0 at a current I0. What is this? Minus overdrive of which transistor? M1 at a current I0 by 2. Okay. I just actually you can uh, say this by inspection also. This is simpler the output swings. Okay, started. Uh, let me just. Give me a second. Hmm. Yeah. So here, right? So remember that. Let us say I'm interested to find the minimum of the output. In principle, I want my output to go as low as what voltage? Ideally, you want the output minimum to be what? Huh? No, no. I mean, this is with MOSFET. Let's say you are given an ideal op amp supply from zero to VDD. You want the output minimum to be? You want it to go as low as zero, right? But here it cannot go as low as zero because you want to maintain a minimum drain to source drop. And that minimum drain to source drop is what? One overdrive voltage. And that is what this is. Similarly, at the upper side, ideally what you would want the output to go to VDD. But here it cannot rise all the way to VDD because you have to maintain one source to drain and one more source to drain. So the minimum source to drain you can have is that transistor's overdrive voltage. The minimum source to drain you can have is this transistor's overdrive voltage. And that's exactly what you get here. Okay. But I should, I mean, I should understand uh, which transistors can go out of saturation when, you know, the output is increasing and decreasing. Okay. Is this clear? So this I have worked out, I mean I have worked out this output common mode range for the PMOS 5 transistor OTA. So for the NMOS, the output common mode range is still an exercise. You guys work it out so that we get used to it. So I will just say NMOS OCMR. Take it as exercise and work out. Cool. Uh, so let's move to something. <clears throat>